Howdy folks, okay, so uh, this video is regarding ninth generation Honda Civic Hybrid. This is actually the third generation of the hybrid, so 2012 through 2015. <clears throat> and um, we're on a trip, we're away from home, and uh, we, we got a number of uh, warning lights. Um, so we got the IMA system, 12 volt battery light, check engine light, brake light, and then over here on the, uh, on the display, we got a number of, there we go, check charging system, check IMA system, check brake system, and some other things. Anyway, so uh, we were uncertain whether we were going to be able to uh, drive the whatever five, 600 miles home. And uh, after some research and um, some uh, actual driving around, here's what we found. So in our case, uh, the DC to DC converter that keeps the 12 volt battery charged, that is still functioning. Um, and that means that the inverter, at least in one direction where uh, it's using the, uh, the motor that normally assists driving the drivetrain, that motor is generating power and is feeding it back through the inverter to supply voltage to the uh, DC to DC converter and that's keeping the 12 volt battery running. If the 12 volt battery stops, uh, runs dead, you're screwed. And so uh, here's, here's something that's important though. We're cruising along at highway speeds and the RPM is staying between the range of about 1,500 to 3,000 RPM. That is the range in which the DC to DC converter will keep the, uh, the 12 volt battery charged. And so I think we're gonna be in good shape going uphill. Uh, because this is uh, this car has a CVT, uh, it's likely that it's going to want to run at higher RPMs, and so we might need to just decrease our speed uh, as we go up through the mountains um, in order to keep the RPM in the desirable range. But for right now, um, you know, you can see that the uh, hybrid battery is completely disconnected. There's no power going to it nor coming from it. Um, and we've got all these warning lights. Cruise control is working still. Uh, we've been driving for probably 45 minutes now. Everything seems okay. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to do um, in-town driving uh, because you know you come to a light and you need to shift into neutral in order to um, keep the RPM between 1500 and 3000 so you can keep your 12 volt battery charged but um yeah with uh with some coaxing um and and you know additional attention uh it does seem like you can drive uh these third generation honda civic hybrids this is a ninth generation honda civic um ours is actually a 2013 and it uh, seems like you can drive those for an extended period of time. Yeah, so here we go. Here's a case where we just went up a hill and the RPM went up a little bit above 3,000 um, for a short transient uh, bit like that, no problem. The 12 volt battery has a charge. But uh, anyway, uh, I just kind of wanted to let you know. I hope that is useful information. That's all, bye.